Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. We are back at the IAA facility. Take a look at all these cars and trucks. Do you know where we are? We're not in Tulsa anymore. Well, here's one sign that we're not in Tulsa. Yeah, you never see it. No, you come to Tulsa I all do the come time. to Tulsa. I appreciate that. We're actually in his little fishing hole right here because this is his facility, but he this let us mine. tag along. Nobody else. Nobody mine. else. Well, we found a cool car and it has my name and your name written all over it. As long as you say it right. Mercedes. Jaguar. There you go. He done did it right. And there she is. She's a beautiful car. This is a good looking car though. I would drive it. Oh my gosh. Does this compete with your uh, S class? No. It doesn't? No. This isn't as nice? Come on, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> this has a couple of issues. I mean, it's not major. So it got bumped. It took a little bump. So the hood is kind of sticky, but we're missing some paint right there. There's your paint flake. You need a tail light. The fender, I'm not worried about that at all. This will push back in. This is that stuff. This is the residue from yep. here that is impossible to get off. Yep. I, it drives me crazy. And I've tried everything. Professional strength, goo gone, brake cleaner, all kinds of stuff. It's almost impossible to get rid of. Well, thankfully, you need a new trunk. Well, so you don't even have to clean it. I just saw this. This is why, right? Oh. What did you, why do you say we need it? Well, the trunk is smashed in. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, the trunk is smashed in. I would just replace the trunk. It's aluminum. Yeah, so I just pull it. No. Just pull it real hard and it'll come right back. But then you have to clean all of this. Yeah, that's true. How, how much is a trunk for this, really? Yeah, I don't know. 150 bucks? Probably. But yeah, there is a there is a little something under there that's that's damaged. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's uh Well you don't see that stuff, so that wouldn't bother me. <laughs> that's true. But see you got this everywhere though. So they just wrap the whole back half of the car oh, man. Yeah. with this stuff that is difficult to get off. You got some water in there. But everything, you know, north of your rear tires is good. I like it. And what do you see the inside? Oh, this is a good scratch. That is a very nice scratch. We'll get Randy on the inside. <gasps> this car has been bedazzled. It has been bedazzled. Do you see what I'm talking about? No. You see the jewelry? Oh, God. This is perfect. I'm going in. I'm going in. Oh, boy. Look at that. That, is that factory? That's no. <laughs> Don't is that rip. eBay? <laughs> Those are diamonds, Mike. Yeah. Those are real diamonds. Swarovski, Swarovski crystals. <laughs> Is that how you say it? I don't even know. Do we have power? No, she's dead. I can throw a jump on her real quick though. Oh, look at the, look at this. Oh. That's a hefty key though. It is. That's huge. It's a pretty big car really. It is a big car. Oh, here's your, okay, that all came from your trunk. That looks like it came from your hood under your hood but you've got two sun roofs sun roofs look at those vents this is nice this is okay we're going back to the busty look <laughs> it looks like oh no it looks like um oh who's that little square robot sponge or <laughs> sponge eye eye nose mouth it looks just like that, like that robot i have no from idea from that what cartoon ah uh, what is that Look, you push this little button. No, I don't know what that button does. I like the wood. I really do. I love the wood. Little Jaguar accents here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what the engine looks like real quick. All right, we got Randy doing his his thing. Well, I was going to, but I can't. Oh, we can't find the. I can't find it. It's probably in the trunk. You think? Yeah. It's a Jaguar after all. I'll bet it's in the trunk. Um, um, look how they put the VIN right here. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Maybe it's under here? No, that's brakes. That's brakes. That's brakes. Yep. Well. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on. Oh, they did something. Following modifications, J038 in 2014. We never even said what this was. It's a 2012. Jaguar XJ. So it is the XJ. It is the XJ. It's older than I thought it was. Okay. Um, so we're we're totally effed.
Ah, right there. There it is. Good job, Mike. Look at Mike. Look at me figuring out this stuff. Okay. It's almost like you've worked on these before. Older ones, much older. There we go. Now, where is the ground that they want you to hook it to? Because right. jags are not made of metal. It's yeah. this weird polymer. Uh, <laughs> right here? That seems like a good ground. Maybe. Okay, have at it. Nope, no power. Oh, look, you can turn this steering wheel when it's off, just like my old S-Type. You should have power now. Oh, we do. Here we go. Smart key has not found. Smart key not found. It's right here. Um, let me lock and unlock. I want to watch all these crystals come to life here. No, smart key not found. <laughs> it forgot about the smart key. Or the smart key is oh, broken. so busted up. Oh my. Maybe if I hold it closed. Nope. Isn't there a location that you can stick the key next to and it'll read it? It's usually a picture of the key. Yeah. But I don't right there. No. She's a goner. Well, I am so disappointed. Well, how about this? I've actually been thinking about these. This is the H3. Hama. Yes. And you know why I've been thinking about these? Have you watched the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary? I have not. Oh, it's good. It's kind of about his life. It's divided into three parts. Um, athlete, actor, and then what's the third one? Governor? As, it starts with A, activist or something, but yeah. I got a few Could a you imagine? I can think of, yeah. Oh, you're not a big Arnold, Arnold fan? Used to be. Used to be. But he used to drive one of these. He did. An H3 or an H2? No, he it? drove the original. The one? He The one. Ooh. The big one. In fact, he had a, a hand in developing that for market, taking it from yeah. the military and introducing it to the masses. And he had a design hand in that. Boy, so he and messed he that drove, up too. He, well, along with the economy. You awesome. Could, you could say I'm that. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. And he just he had a, he just likes everything big and over the top because he says that's what America is. He never felt really at home in Austria. Yeah. And he thought that he was always meant to live here. So, it's a great three part series. Um, go back and watch it. It's real. You really learn a lot. And there was such a rivalry between him and Sylvester Stallone. Oh, I knew that. And I, so one would have a movie with like a 12 inch knife and then the other guy would yeah. come out with a 15 inch knife and they got the bigger guns and all yep. that kind of stuff. It was. And girls too. They were very competitive oh. against each other. Yeah. And now they're best friends. Yeah. Isn't that bizarre? Yeah. 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 <sighs> anyway, I think these look cool. I, I like mean, it's it. a trailblazer with a different suit on it. But this one doesn't have any damage. You said it's, uh, it's from a particular company that it, buys these all the time. Yeah. It's from Pedal. From Pedal which, you know, can be good and bad. Oh, look how clean it is. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. That's a... <coughs> this isn't fake, folks. No. This is a, this is a definite... Oh. No. This is, this is musty, muggy, moldy. If you look at the roof, yeah. it looks like it's been parked for a very long time. Wow, good guy. Yeah, there's a little dent in the roof too. There's rust all over the floors and mold and mildew. The seats are rusting. I think the windows and look at the look at the interior, you can see the windows were left down. So they kind of tried to clean it up. I mean they vacuumed it. Yeah. But they they tried. They're wet. Yes. The seats are wet. I'll bet the sunroof leaks. Wow. That's that's a thing there. That's a, <clears throat> ooh, you can't, 
Well, okay, we won't open that. There's something very unique about this that I've never seen in an H3 before. Um, what would that be? It's in the it's in the front. Okay. And the tow hooks that you were kicking. No, or what? it's inside uh -oh. inside the car. Front seats. Let's just kind of pan on over to that shifter there. It's a manual. I've never seen a manual. Wow. This has got to be a rare Hummer. Holy crap. This would tow for you, Mike. It, well, not very oh, well, but it, man. It, it could. Just the <laughs> smell. Oh, it's wet. The, the seats, seats too? All, yeah. I told you the windows were all down. They this, had to be. Oh, my gosh. The whole interior soaked. But look at the, Look how big the handle is on this thing. Look, it's all beat up, too. You want to sit down and try to start it? Uh, <laughs> the back seats are soaked, too. Yeah. Everything. It's, it's, it's all soaking wet, and it smells awful. I think this is going to get us sick. I'll start it. I'll start. You, you will? put the jump pack on. Yeah. You're not going to sit on that. Sure. You need to get a, a car mat from another car. Nah, I ain't worried about it. You're, I don't want to look at a wet rear end. Wet rear ends are my thing, not, Mike. Not that I look at your rear end, because I don't. But Oh, God. Yeah. Don't get sick, because we have to go work on your Maserati. Woo! I can't even get this open. Oh, my. Where's the... That's bad. I feel the bar. I just don't feel... It's probably down here, right there. Oh. Ugh. Interesting battery. That's... Okay, I got it. Let's got your old the... Vortec. Your basic Vortec. What is it, a 3500 or a 3600? 3500. 35. Strange engine, very, very bizarre. Oh, this is that five cylinder it's you're talking weird, about, right? Yeah. You ain't gonna tow much with it, that's for sure. There's rust on the belts. It, I think this was underwater, Mike. Yeah. This looks like maybe it was under a. Uh... Lost type is other. All right. Say a prayer, I don't wanna die. I'm going in. Don't sit down on it, just start it. <laughs> ah! No. Whew. Oh, jeez. You have to come out for a breather. I might have to. No, don't sit in it. We push we don't the brake. Do you know what I mean? Oh, the clutch and the brake. You might have to push the clutch and the brake. I don't know. Oh crap. But yeah, she sure isn't yeah, showing any signs of. Uh, I don't want you to sit on that. So no, let's just go on. This is this is too much. She has been long, long, long. Life underwater. I started that sentence and didn't know how to finish it. <laughs> I do that all the time myself. <laughs> just do it on air when you're trying to talk real fast and you start and you say something and then you forget where you're going. Whew! Don't. S okay. No. Oh my nope. Okay, God. we're done. Let's let's just call one more. It quits. One more. Oh, he's gonna get a floor mat. Well, I was hoping to get a floor mat. Just something I can sit on and put right back. Are you kidding me? No cars here, have floor mats out this here? Cherokee might. Nope. <laughs> All right. None of them. Okay. It's almost like a sign, right? Yep. That Lexus doesn't have floor mats? Oh, there you go. Oh. All right, we're taking care of the situation. Hopefully. How squeaky is that clutch? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Good God. Let's move on. All right, we're moving on before Randy throws up. Well, because I'm a baller, yeah, this is my next car. I love this. Wanna be a baller? 
Shot collar, 20 inch blades on an impulse. Come on. There you, you go. This. But these aren't 20 inch. These no, are what? These are 24s. These are 24s, 24s, baby. Look at this. This is huge. What year is this? 20. 13. 13 Cadillac Escalade ESV. I got to back up so you can see the whole wheel. Look at that. 24. Look at the rims. Wow. I wonder what radio station this was on. I am going to guess rap. Yeah, me too. Definitely. So this is the Escalade extended. You can tell. It's big. She's got a big old badunk and dunk. It's, <laughs> but it's a well endowed Escalade. Yes. Why is it here? Look how the this is cool how they did the that's probably fake, or is it real? The tail lights or the tail lights, the tail pipes. <laughs> the tail lights. Tail pipes. He's been out here too long, guys. It's just fake. They're just regular ones going into that. I think this is here for hail. Okay. It's got that pea-sized hail oh. all over it. Okay. I'm telling you, you can get I some great love. deals if you don't scratch. mind a few dings and I, a little personality. Right, exactly. Well, my car, well, and some really bold tires. Yeah, there's 5,000 in tires right there. Wow. I move Gen 2s. Okay. Yeah, that's expensive. Yeah, there is a little... You don't see a whole lot, though. It's not that bad. It's not. You clean it up, you'll see it a lot worse. So just never wash it. Collision. 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 Where's the collision at? That door was scratched right there. But that's about all. Somebody lied, Mike. I love the grill. Somebody I love lied. the front. This has that engine, though, you got to watch out for. Right? Yes. <clears throat> because it's got that cylinder. The displacement on demand, the yes. DOD. And yes, there's power. 6.2 V8. Ooh, oh, yeah. She'll pull. Busted windshield. Yeah. Oh, you sit way up here. Here we go. They got a bottle opener on the keychain. There you go. Oh, here it is. Let go. Where to, sir? To Where, the airport. To the airport. Pronto. This is a big freaking car. I like this. Whoa. Well, I can, Whoa. I can get used to this. Fuel is low. Search for nearby fuel station. That's nice to know. How bad is the gas? Oh, we are almost. Change engine oil soon. Fuel level low. AC on high. Where do you do this? Here we go. They had this all the way up. AC. But you it's got cold. it on 80. I just went down. It turned itself back up. How did it go back up? Stay. There we Stay. go. Stay. Okay, that's it just blew something right in my eye too. Ugh. See, Conoco, six tenths of a mile, Express Foods, Petro Plus. Just tells you where to go. This will pull anything. I have my own air conditioning back here. How's that working for you? Well, it's not doing anything yet. I yeah. don't even know where the, oh, they're above me. Oh, there you go. There you go, open that up, yeah. Oh, this is nice. Got my own television. We have, oh. Somebody tall owned this one. Let's just kind of see. There's reverse. Yeah, she's good. I'm kind of in a hurry here. Could we get uh, get me to the airport, please? Absolutely. Have you? Careful with my television screen, Mike. <laughs> We're about to run out of gas. Sugar. All right. This thing would pull a house. Oh, yes, it would. You've got so much yeah. room back there, too. And of course, everything's gonna work. Even the mirrors fold. Randy's important window here. Ah! Give him some, sun, some sunshine, get him a tan right there. What do you think? Is, this, is it worth the risk? Yes. It is, you think? Yes. How much would you bid on it, Mike? 
And on then this? I'll tell you how much I would bid on it. Well, I would I wouldn't win the bid with what I bid on, but how do you change this to see the mileage? What does it say right there? Um, right there. See the little check mark and the little road icons and stuff? Right here at this? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Fuel level low. Guess the mileage, or did you just look? No, I didn't look. I'm going to guess right around 200. 189. Okay, close. But it works. Everything works. I would say this will sell for... Five or six thousand. That's I was gonna say fifty five hundred. Yeah. That's that'd be my guess. Yeah. About fifty five hundred for this. 55. Because it's it, it's actually pretty nice. It really is. Yeah. It's giant and that engine is smooth. The air it's conditioning really back smooth. here works. It works up here too. This is nice. This is really really nice. We'll have to think about this one. Are you comfortable? <laughs> you need a foot massage <laughs> while you're there? I can't take him anywhere. Anyway, big thanks to this guy for letting me tag along. We saw some pretty cool cars and some pretty iffy cars and some cars that were destroyed today. It was and it good was stuff. fun. It was good. It's good stuff. And it's going to rain, so we're going to go head down to someone's shop and work on a Maserati. Who would have a Maserati? I don't know. Some bougie friend of mine. Yeah. All right. Go check out his channel, Auto Auction Rebuild. Please subscribe. Check mine out. Well, you already are because you're watching the video. Subscribe. I need to work on those subscribers. All right, folks. Have a great day, and we'll see you again very, very soon. We'll have more on uh, the Barbie car and a car that I sold a bike to buy. Should I bill it like that? Yeah. I sold my bike and bought a car. No, you really did? I did. Yeah. Oh, my God. I bought a car for $125. <laughs> that's a knee slapper right there. Oh, that's going to be a good one. I did. I really did. And there's four wheels. Yeah. $125 car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is it? you got to subscribe to find out, folks. All right. Have a good day. Bye.